This video is one I just decided to make on a whim, so I hope you'll forgive my self-indulgence once again. I was filming in King's Cross recently, and the name of this restaurant caught my eye. Plum and Spilt Milk. Now, I've never been to this restaurant, no one I know has ever mentioned going there, so I know almost nothing about it. The name makes it sound like your fairly typical trendy restaurant. But if you're a train nerd, it has a particular significance. As you can see, Plum and Spilt Milk is in the old Great Northern Hotel, which is itself attached to King's Cross Station. King's Cross Station was built by the Great Northern Railway, so if I tell you that Plum and Spilt Milk is a railway reference, I doubt you'll be surprised by that. These days, these stations like to make references to their heritage, which I'm certainly not going to complain about in itself. Plum and Spilt Milk refers to the London and North Western Railway. The LNWR was a railway company that existed from 1846 to 1923. It liked to refer to itself as the Premier Line and the largest joint stock company in the world. Their whole publicity strategy was basically, we're the best. Their locomotives were painted in a fairly functional black with white and red lining for their passenger engines. But it's their coaches that I'd like to talk about. These were painted in a very regal livery. The lower half was painted in a deep purple livery. This was officially known as Carriage Lake. Now for the upper half, they went with the rather bold decision to paint it white. Bold for two reasons. Firstly, white was very difficult to keep clean in steam days when carriages were constantly exposed to smoke and cinders. Secondly, white paint became discoloured very easily and tended to fade to cream or even yellow. White paint showed that you were a company with money to burn. Well, I say money to burn, but shareholders don't like you burning money, so Wolverton Carriage Works, where the LNWR's coaches were built, cheated. They came up with a colour called Coach White, which had a little bit of blue in it to counteract the yellowing effect. Railway enthusiasts like their nicknames, and Carriage Lake and Coach White is a fairly meaningless set of terms unless you work at Wolverton. So the livery soon became widely known as Plum and Spilt Milk, for fairly obvious reasons. Other companies' coaches got their own nicknames, often food-related. The Great Western Railway had Chocolate and Cream. The London and South Western Railway had the unappetising Salmon and Chocolate. And later on, British Railways had Blood and Custard, which sounds like a detective story about a murder involving clowns. No one steal that idea. The LNWR ceased to exist on the 1st of January 1923, when it was absorbed into the London, Midland and Scottish Railway. The LMS painted their coaches in an all-over crimson that was influenced by the Midland Railway, another of their constituents. With one notable exception. The LNWR's royal train remained in plum and spilt milk until the Second World War. I do wonder how the former LNWR employees still working under the LMS felt about that. No longer were they the Premier Line, but they did still have an influence on the Premier Train. One last point to add. Plum and Spilt Milk is an LNWR reference, but the LNWR never used King's Cross. They ran into Euston just down the road. In fact, the LNWR and the Great Northern Railway were deadly rivals. The LNWR ran up the West Coast, the Great Northern ran up the East Coast. The companies, along with their allies along their respective coasts, competed fiercely to provide the fastest trains from London to Edinburgh and Aberdeen in what became known as the Races to the North. So it's kind of inappropriate that a restaurant at King's Cross should be named after the LNWR. But then, the Great Northern didn't even paint their coaches, and Varnish Teak would be a terrible name for a restaurant. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It's just one of those odd little things that I occasionally think about when I'm in King's Cross. If you did enjoy it, please do click the like button and subscribe for more. I'd like to thank my donors on Ko-fi and Patreon. You are the Coach White to my carriage lake. And I'll see you all again very soon. Cheerio.